Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today's episode is about the Vesta FX M2, the finest from AMD's ecosystem of products on the AM3 Plus platform and a value of 250 bucks in free games while supplies last. So if you're looking for a gaming machine that comes with a bunch of AAA titles to play right out of the gate, this might be the one to go with. Clink, clink. As always, we're going to start with a look at the exterior of the gaming system and you guys are going to notice something a little special about this. So number one is that this is clearly an Antec P280. Number two is that this is clearly an Antec P280 with one heck of a sweet makeover. So this is the new P280 white. It's got all the I.O. we're used to seeing. So we've got our headphones here, microphone here, two USB 2.0 ports, two USB 3.0 ports, except that the entire front of the case has a gorgeous white finish that's actually got kind of a matte textured feel to it, making it extremely durable. You can also, there we go, remove the front bay door cover, and you can see there's noise dampening material on the inside of the front door, three five and a quarter inch bays on the front of the case, as well as an easily removable front fan filter, just like the original P280. So you can see there's two 120 millimeter fans right in the front of the case. And this is extremely easy to take off, clean, and replace just like that. And just like the original P280, the door opens 270 degrees, so you don't have to worry about accidentally whacking it and breaking it off if you, you know, have a pet or a small child that accidentally ruins your gaming machine because then you'll be really, really sad. This doesn't impede the cooling performance of the P280 though because you can clearly see at the front of the case there are enormous gaps that are just behind the front panel that give those two 120 millimeter fans access to fresh air. On the top of the case, you find your power and reset buttons Oh, just a little something like that right there. And you find another two 120 millimeter fans. So in this particular system, they've been replaced with blue LED fans to give it a kind of a sweet blue glow that is accented by the blue components inside and the blue LED lighting that is also inside. So speaking of lighting, yes, this is the first Antec P280 that comes with a window out of the factory. They've finally done it, folks. The P-Series has a window, and I'm gonna let that sink in for a moment. Yeah, it has a window. Nice big window, nice clear window, lets you appreciate the quiet of an Antec P-Series case with the bling of some of their other chassis that already did have windows. Now, they had to make some compromises, but more on that once we open it up. So it's not quite as silent as the traditional P280, but it's pretty darn close. So on the back, we've got two PS2 ports, eight USB 2.0 ports, one of which supports USB BIOS flashback, which is a really cool feature that allows you to resurrect your board even if it gets bricked in the middle of a BIOS flash, two USB 3.0 ports, optical audio out, eSATA, Ethernet, gigabit Ethernet, and 7.1 audio out. And this down here, this is some pretty sweet stuff going on. So powered by an ASUS 7970 graphics card, we've got six concurrent displays out supported by this particular system. And as always, we're gonna rip this baby open, see if we can figure out what makes her tick. So I promised to show you guys the side panel here. What Antec has done is they've done away with the single piece of noise deadening material, and they've gone with a single piece of plexi. So rather than having a complicated assembly with screws holding on a window or whatever else, to give you the best of both worlds in terms of looks and silence, they've gone with just two pieces glued together so you shouldn't have any issues with vibration. Once we get inside, we see a very, very clean interior layout with the heart at the core of it, the FX8350 from AMD. This is their top of the line eight core processor and it is liquid cooled by an Antec Cooler H20920, meaning that when it arrives, all you gotta do is play around a little bit with the multiplier and the voltage and you should actually be able to overclock that little guy, no problem. Although I guess it's not really fair to call it a little guy when it's got eight cores and 16 gigs of memory to use, not only for gaming, but also for things like 3D rendering or even video production. All of this is accompanied by an ASUS Radeon HD 7970 DirectCU2. This graphics card has awesome cooling. It's got a 7970 GPU, which is the top of the line from AMD at this point, and it uses a three-slot cooler with two fans 
and a butt ton of heat pipes in order to run not only very cool, but also very quiet. All of this is installed in an M5A99 FX Pro R 2.0 motherboard, and the reason for that is it just, well, it gives you support for all this stuff. Eight core processors, lots of RAM, Crossfire support, no big deal. And the spacing's even correct to install two of these DirectCU 2 class cards and run them in Crossfire. Not all motherboards can do that. Keeping in line with the theme of expandability and high performance and all that stuff, we've got a Nantech High Current Gamer 750 watt power supply. It may not be a modular power supply, but due to the cable management options available in the P280, you hardly actually see any of those cables because they all get tucked away behind the motherboard tray, resurfacing only exactly where they are needed to plug into the various components. For storage, we've got another high-end solution as well with a Samsung 840 series SSD for the operating system games and key applications and a Seagate 2TB 7200 RPM drive for mass storage or any of your larger files or games or anything that's less of a high priority. So with a $1500 system, what's the value proposition? Because that's a very high-end gaming system. So this is a high-end gaming system. It has a 7970 graphics card, which is a top-of-the-line single GPU AMD card. It's capable of running another one, should you so desire. It's got your SSD, your lots of memory, your water cooling, all that good stuff. But it also has an FX8350. Now, in the past, we might have looked at that and gone, okay, well, it doesn't have the same single-threaded performance as the 3570K, which is the Intel price-equivalent CPU right now. However, look at Crisis 3 and Far Cry 3. Those are a couple of games that actually perform just as well on a, bull, on a pile driver FX as they do on the Intel equivalents. Now factor in that the upcoming game consoles are going to have multi-threaded AMD CPUs in them. Maybe we're at a turning point here where we're going to see better optimizations for multi-core. Personally, I think we're getting there. And something like this may make a lot of sense from a gaming perspective. I mean, not only that, but you get Bioshock Infinite, the new Tomb Raider, you get Far Cry 3, you get Hitman Absolution, and you get Sleeping Dogs with the system. So does it make sense for a gamer to get a system that comes with a bunch of games? Probably. You also get deals once you add the system to your shopping cart. These are limited time only, guys. So if you're watching the video a lot later, don't, you know, you might not see it. But there's also special BenQ and Rocket deals for a monitor and peripherals to go along with this system. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this systems edition of NCIX Tech Tips. And as always, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this from your favorite retailer, NCIX.com.